Hey guys, what's happening? Thanks for watching and tuning in and coming back. Appreciate it. Hope you're having an awesome day. And I'm in Luminar 3 and I've got some, uh, some skyline photos I shot here in Austin. And uh, it was at sunrise, so I, I got some blue hour, a little bit of sunrise light. And just wanted to walk through some editing tips and tricks for how I handle those. So let me show you the first photo. Here we go. That's the final. And this is the original. So you can see it was uh, quite a bit more blue and darker and I brightened it, added a little bit of color. Let me reset the filters and I'll show you how I did that. Okay, so here's the base photo with a couple of adjustments in raw develop. Um, I did a little bit of lens distortion and then on the adjust tab, as you can see, I did a little bit of contrast and a little bit of clarity. Pretty simple and straightforward. So I went from that to that. In fact, you can't hardly tell other than the, uh, the lens distortion. I mean, it's you know a little bit different, but not very much, uh, but it was too dark. And so next I used the tone filter which is one of my favorites, something I use all the time. And I bumped up Smart Tone, let's see, 25. And again, a smidge of contrast there, but I was able to go from that to that, which Smart Tone's great. If you're dragging it to the right to brighten a photo, it just brightens the stuff that's dark, but the stuff that's already bright, it doesn't mess with. So it is smart, it just works incredibly well. Uh, and then I hit it with a little bit of brilliance and warmth, and that was really just to pop a little bit more of that, the orange lights that are kind of going across the center there. So. I don't even know if you can tell, to be honest, but um, I did that. And then um, I added an, an, an erased image layer. So there were a couple things I wanted to erase. And so I just went in and you grab tool and you click on erase and then you make adjustments, hit okay, and then it adds a new layer. Um, but when I was finished with that layer, I wanted to do a little bit more color work. And so I could add a filter here. However, I prefer to add a new layer. So I added another layer, which was an adjustment layer. And then I went in and got two more filters. Uh, the first one was for color, which was split toning. And as you can see, what I did is I basically added a little bit more color to the sky. Uh, it, was, it was coming up on sunrise, and there was getting to be a little bit of pink in the sky, not a lot. I mean, it's not coming through very well in the photo. And so I just uh, grabbed split toning. And in highlights, I just put the hue in kind of that orange, kind of creamy, orangey look, whatever, but not, I don't know what the color is called. Um, and then drag the saturation over. Uh, I didn't really mess with the, uh, with the shadows. Shadows, are, I'm just gonna leave them the way they are. I just wanted to give a tiny bit of color. Uh, and then I did the thing I do all the time, which is negative structure. And this was simply just smoothing out the sky and the water. So I just went in and did uh, negative on structure, which basically removes any visible detail. And then I painted it into the sky and the water, which in fact isn't true. I actually erased it from the buildings. It's the same thing. It just depends on which brush you use and where you paint. Uh, but that was it. So that was a, a quick, simple workflow on that one. I went from that to that, and literally that was like five minutes of work or something. Now let me show you one more as an example. Now here, here's another shot from a little bit later that same morning, and here's the after and here's the before, right? So again, you can see that I've enhanced colors, but I've also done, a, again, a bit of lens distortion correction. I also cropped it 16 by nine. So let me reset these filters and I'll show you what I did here. Okay, here we are. So this is the photo with the raw develop filter. You can see the before and the after, right? So a uh, substantial difference with lens distortion, which you can see here, 52. So a uh, pretty substantial amount. Um, really not a lot done here. In fact, I probably uh, would normally add a little bit of clarity. So I think I'm gonna add some of that. That's a, an adjustment I do just about every photo. Um, Tiny bit of temperature and tint, but really not much there in raw develop. Um, and next I went to tone. And here I bumped up the contrast, increased smart tone, took down highlights and shadows just a little bit. So if you look at the before and the after, it's subtle, but I'm bringing up um, a little bit more visibility into the, uh, like the bridge and, and the buildings themselves, right? So um, the next is kind of where I get into some color work and something I love to do, of course. Uh, so the first thing I started with was color temp. Now, there's color temp up here in the develop filter or raw develop. Um, I went ahead and grabbed it as a separate adjustment, not for any reason. And admittedly, I don't really think that there's any difference between it uh, being used as a separate filter or being used in raw develop, but um, I wanted to warm up the photo. So I warmed it up a little bit, added a little bit of tint, uh, but as you can see it's not really looking that great. So I went and got cross processing which um, I use Seattle. Now Seattle's got a, a bit of pink and purple to it, which I think goes incredibly well with sunsets and sunrises because it brings up sort of that color that 
you know, you may not always see in a sunrise or sunset, but at least you probably hope that you see. Um, Seattle does a great job of that. I use it on many, many sunsets and sunrise photos. Um, next was saturation and vibrance. Just a little bump there and then split color warmth. And this one made a nice difference. And split color warmth is cool because it basically takes the warm colors or the cool colors and you can decide how much warmer or, or cooler do you want them to be. And so in this case, I bumped up the warmth, you know, uh, a fair amount, right? So, um, and the last filter around color was the HSL filter. And basically this was a lot of saturation adjustments. As you can see here, it does separate each color out. So red, orange, yellow, etc. cetera. I, I went through and bumped quite a few of these. I don't think there's any hue or luminance yet. It's all saturation. So I went from that to that, which I think made a nice difference. And then my last filter here was really just structure. And I just went and did a negative structure where I just softened up the sky and the water just like I did on the previous photo. And so that was uh, what got me from this photo, which was a bit more blue. You can see uh, on that right-hand side behind the bridge and those buildings, the sun's coming up. There's starting to be some warmth in this scene, but it's not very prevalent. Um, and after I've made it much more prevalent with the edits that I did, that's personal preference. Um, it wasn't really quite that warm, but I kind of wanted to make it that way. So you can see um, pretty substantial difference in the photo from uh, the before and after. And that's really some sample ideas or workflow you know, options for you for um, what I like to shoot, which is skylines at sunrise. Particularly nice because it's quiet out and uh, you can have places like this to yourself. So hopefully that gives you some ideas in your own editing. If you have uh, any comments or feedback, I'd love to hear from you. So drop a comment down below, hit like, share with your friends, that sort of thing. And that's it, my friends. Hope it helped. Thanks for watching and sticking around and I'll be back soon with more videos. Have a great one. Thanks, uh, take care and adios.